And here now tonight, the second twilight zone. The twilight zone is in the sense that climate science is in serious trouble. When you have a sitting president, President Obama in this case, right, in 2013, spew out this, this idea that science works by consensus. That 97% of scientists, he should say climate scientists agree in that sense because not a lot of us physical scientists, they won't agree with this thing. That climate, science, uh, you know, is, climate change is real, man-made and dangerous, right? So what is this about, right? It is true that by 24, the 2004, you get a bunch of these studies actually trying to claim that climate science is all fully agreed upon, everybody go home and then done. In fact, if you tell them to cut all the funding, no, oh, no, 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 we still don't know this cloud, we don't know this, we don't know that, right? All kinds of uh, excuses will start coming in. Today, we want to focus on just that first work by Professor John Cook in 2013, because myself and David Legates, we've done some work on this. We look into this. What is it about? <laughs> it's a very strange situation. All you need to do is that somebody should actually read the paper to know what it is. Here, the claim of the 97.1% endorsed this consensus viewpoint. But it's the 97.1% of those that express a position. That's a key word that nobody reads. So, in 2013, David Legates led this study that we produced. Our co-authors, including the distinguished Christopher Mountain of Brensley from Scotland, uh, we, we, we actually decided to just look into it. Guess what happened? You know immediately something is wrong when two-thirds of the paper that, almost 12,000 paper that they examined, didn't express any opinion on climate change. Okay? And then when we look in details in their paper, there's actually 64 paper out of 12,000, so about 0.5% expressing opinion. And then Christopher Moncton, as we know, he's feisty, so we look into the 64 paper itself. You actually found that not all 64 people say that. It's actually only 41 of them. So that turned out to be only 0.3% explicitly say that global warming is caused by CO2 and it's dangerous. How can you go from 97.1% to 0.3%, right? This is how bad it is. Here's a picture, summarize the statistics. Huge portion of it is not expressing any opinion. And then 8% make some kind of explicit claim. So 987 abstract. And then if you look in detail, they just simply add the one that keep claiming that at least some is human cost plus that mostly human cost. 91 plus 6 is 97. Okay, fine. But these are all tricks, verbal tricks. That's why science, climate science is in serious trouble when they keep pushing agenda like this. This is why we know very well that science never worked by consensus. Why should we even talk about that? That's why I was very reluctant to talk about this topic. But it's becoming so popular, so I must address it tonight, right? Well, why don't we just talk about open-minded scientific inquiry, right? Well, here's the late uh, Michael Crichton. He's a very brilliant man. He said that consensus is invoked, like, invoked only in situations when the science is not solid enough. He has a very good statement that he said. If it's, if, it's, if it's consensus, it is not science, right? If it's science, it should not be about consensus, period. That's it, nothing more. 